Dad, thank you for everything you've done for me, and you would, I would not be the same. I wouldn't be the same boy I am today if it wasn't for you. I hope you have a good time and make it a, a night to remember. <laughs> J.K. Megan. Yeah. Someday, when the pages of my life end, I know that you will be one of the most beautiful chapters. Always keep me in your heart, for you are always in mine. Nothing and nobody, not even time, will ever change that. Oh, Dad. I promise that I was trying to make all the friendship last. To make the, all the friendship last. I trust that our marriage will remain strong. I trust that our marriage will remain strong. And look to our future together. And look to our future together. With hope, happiness and joy. With hope, happiness and joy. May we treasure this day. May we treasure this day. And never allow anything. And never allow anything. Oh, I mean. <laughs> And never allow anything to change the feelings we share for each other. To change the feelings we share for each other. Love them. Well done. Love you. Hey, we can't cry anymore. <laughs> <laughs> we can't get enough. We're not going downstairs yet. Hi everyone. Welcome to the wedding of these two. As you all know, I have an auntie who always likes to wear a nighty. <laughs> but as you all know, along came Luke, who likes to read a book. But here we all are on the same page. Meg and Luke, congratulations on your wedding day. And good luck, Luke, with my auntie Meg. You're going to need it. <laughs> Megan, can I give you this ring? In celebration of my love for you. In celebration of my love for you. And as a pledge to respect you. And a pledge to respect you. And grow with you. And grow with you. For the whole of my life. For the whole of my life. Luke, I give you this ring. As a symbol of our marriage. As a symbol of our... As a <laughs> symbol. <laughs> as a symbol of our marriage. And as a token of my love for you. And a token of my love for you. And pop it all the way. <laughs> You've made me a better person, without doubt. Number two. You've made me a better dad. Number three, you work extremely hard. Number four, we share in each other's successes and failures. You've softened me up a bit, a little bit. You accept me for the person I am. You look after me, you watch Jack and encourage him to become better himself every day. You support me in everything I do. You will do anything for anybody. You have taught me to be better organized. You understand me, you put up with me. You have a heart of gold. You inspire people around you. Failure is not an option. And you've come to like sport a bit. Not much. A little bit. A little bit. A little tiny bit. So, there's just one toast I want to do. But everything you see here today in all the organisation is down to Megan. So, I would like you to get your glasses in your hand, please. I would like to raise a toast to the bride, Megan. <laughs> Megan.
Um, and as some of you may know, uh, Martin and Luke's friendship began when we worked together at the Haydock Thistle some like, nearly 20 years ago. <clears throat> anyway, um, Luke was actually one of my first food and beverage managers. And um, at the time, he, he tried to and successfully really taught me everything there was to know about working in hospitality. I now work in mortgages. <laughs> Thanks, Luke. Um, If you can stand if you're able and raise a glass with me and toast your new bride and groom, Mr. and Mrs. Kendall. Yeah. 